Welcome to the challenge round. This is a 1960s matchup. This is Paul Winter versus Reg Lewis. Of course, Reg already competed and lost trying to enter the 1950s brackets. So we're going to make this a 1960s. Could easily be a 50s because both men competed in both decades. But anyway, we're giving this to Reg Lewis just slightly. I believe Winter has an edge as far as the upper body structure is concerned. But look at those abs on Reg. So it's close. But when you look at the legs, there's just no doubt that Reg Lewis, he did his homework in this. He definitely has the total package, so to speak. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at another pose. And it's close in the front double bicep. But we are going to go with Paul Winter. Look at that little tiny waist and just blooms to those massive lats. Although I will say on the part of Reg Lewis, his arm development is awesome. As well as those pecs. And he has a very nice flair to this pose. But I just have to go with Paul Winter. Just look at that waist. Anyway, this is a good little matchup. Next pose. Ah, yes, the front lat spread. I am giving this one to Paul Winter just slightly. His upper body is far superior to Reg Lewis. He just looks incredible in the upper body. But then when you look at the legs, it's the opposite effect. Reg's, Reg Lewis has an incredible set of wheels. But the thing that's saving Mr. Paul Winter here are those calves of his. He's actually dwarfing Reg Lewis in that aspect. So I believe he's just edging out a victory in my opinion. Wow, look at that front lat spread on him. Anyway, dice contest. Next pose. Wow, where was Paul Winter hiding those legs of his? He is definitely uh, winning in that aspect. And look at those calves. Massive big calves. Not to mention he is winning in the back development itself, although it is close, both men with a tremendous back development. But anyway, this Paul Winter is taking Reg by surprise. He has won the last three poses in a row. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the last pose and wrap this up. And this comparison really speaks volumes about this whole contest. I believe that this tiny little wee waist of Paul Winter saved him against perhaps a superior bodybuilder. Hard to say when you think about that back development and those calves of Paul Winter. We're not going to take that victory away from him. So here is your winner of this challenge round, Paul Winter. Paul Winter will now await the challenge of another challenge round winner. To do battle!